All right. How can you, as an experienced business person, think it is okay to sign a non-legal name on a legal document or contract? I had a, um, an oral agreement, I guess, with Richard to help him find receipts for the building. Um, my obligation to sign Johanna Plank is with my bank because they have a signature card that says I will sign my contracts as Johanna Plank. Um, for me to sign leases with other um, people as Joanne Plank or um, Right. Was that, that question for Bodderman? Could you, I'm sorry, because I'm thinking. Right, repeat the question. Thank you. How can you, as an experienced business person, think it is okay to sign a non-legal name on a legal document or contract? Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I think that because my... Um, my capacity as president of my corporation, yes, I'm required to sign everything Johanna Plank because I have a contract with that bank. Um, I have signed, if it's the restaurant question, Bodderman, um, I didn't have a loan with it yet. I didn't have um, financing yet. Um, I didn't know what name I'd be under at that point. I think um, it was my representation to say I am going to have this restaurant as an individual. Whether Rich would still be involved then or not, I don't know. I, I don't remember where we were at that point that long ago. Um, it's taken this long to get to this lawsuit where a lot of that, my life has gone on and a lot of things have changed. Um, but um, all the people I signed with too were people that I trusted and they trusted me. So. I didn't feel that I was putting anybody in a difficult situation. I mean, everybody I signed with on a lease uh, either took the lease or the building wasn't completed or the other building wasn't completed and the leases didn't go through. So it doesn't say that it wasn't legal just because I signed as my main name or Joanne Plank. Uh, that's who I go by. I, don't, I didn't feel that it was illegal to do so. Um, that, that's kind of the bottom line. I, it's a different capacity. I was also probably separating myself from, you know, Johanna Plank is uh, Hawk Enterprises. You know, Joanne Plank is a separate person, you know, doing favors for Richard or whatever. Um, I, I don't really think it was illegal to do that. How could you think you have any legal right as a tenant owner or slash owner under the sign name Bodderman to start a restaurant? It's a little bit of the same question where um, it was just at that time signing um, the intended lease. The building well, wasn't complete yet. Is, and there's the second part. Oh, sorry. Question. When legally your name, when legal, your government name was Plank. Um, it's kind of the same answer. Um, closing documents weren't done. If I had to, um, at the end of that, they'd say you can't sign as Joanne Bodderman or did I change my name yet? Um, that would have came to fruitation. It wasn't there yet. It was just, it was a letter of intent originally. The lease, I intended to lease it or buy it after the building was complete. Um, the legal loan was not, was not there yet. I don't, I don't think it was illegal to do so. Since you signed the lease as landlord manager, did you collect any rent, and what did you do with the money? Um, I think I think I did collect the rents. It went into the city center account that we had. Um, so whatever funds came out of the city center account for the building, 
It might have been used for that. Uh, it went into the city center account. What restaurant experience do you have? My um, involvement originally with the, the restaurant would have been the banquet facilities. Um, I'm a good business person. I'm a good organizer. I think the banquet was really my cup of tea, and Richard's would have been the restaurant. Why didn't you secure a loan to buy Building 6 for Hawk's Nest Restaurant to protect your dream? Um, that wasn't possible at that point yet. Uh, it was just under construction, so it was still under the construction loan. Um, just like building number one, I don't know exactly why that wasn't turned over until mortgage after that was complete, because that was full. I don't know why the bank didn't do that and kept going. I, I don't understand all, all those things, but uh, building number, or the restaurant building was not ready for, for a loan at that time. But that would have been my intent to turn it over into a, a mortgage. Is it possible to verify if exhibit number 33 in the Red Book was completed by you? Yes, that is um, my original ledger where I was keeping track of the money that we were putting into it and and whatever money we were getting from the uh, leases, leasers, leasers. Um, that was my handwritten, I'm, I wasn't um, always very good at the computer, I was, uh, so I, I kept track of it uh, by hand for a while until it got to be too much. When was City Center sold? Um, the attorneys forced my husband into bankruptcy, oh, sure. and the uh, uh, procedure uh, at the wait, wait, wait. That's irrelevant, and it's untrue. Well, 